Hi, this is Dr. Saila. Today the topic is cruciferous vegetables and low thyroid function. I hear these concerns very often from my friends and patients. Is kale bad for me if I eat it raw? I have a thyroid problem, can I eat cabbage? And is too much soy bad for me? People are confused. There are several articles on internet claiming cruciferous vegetables suppress the thyroid function. Unfortunately, the message they get is to avoid these world's healthiest foods if they have thyroid problem. And some healthy individuals, even without any thyroid problem, are scared to eat them, thinking they would get the problem if they eat it. So let's look into this topic here. So what is goitrogen? When there is not enough iodine in the diet, thyroid hormones are not produced in sufficient quantity. So when there is less hormone than what your body needs, the pituitary gland in brain send a signal to the thyroid to produce more hormone. In response to this, thyroid increases its size trying to make up for inadequate hormone production. So this enlarged thyroid gland is called goiter. Any substances that produce this type of enlargement are called goitrogens. Foods that are labeled as goitrogens or soy foods, cruciferous vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, mustard greens and kale. Let's learn a little bit about the physiology behind it. I promise I won't bore you with this. Just very briefly I'll tell you. For thyroid hormone production, an iodine molecule is necessary. An enzyme called thyroid peroxidase is necessary for this step. And these so-called goitrogens compete with the thyroid hormone for iodine molecule from thyroid peroxidase. And iodine and selenium are important minerals for thyroid hormone production. This is not just the cruciferous vegetables that contribute to low thyroid hormone production. It's in fact the combination factors such as iodine deficiency, selenium deficiency, contamination of food and water with substances like chlorine and perchlorate that compete for the iodine. Or it could be excess of thiocyanates which is present in uh, cruciferous vegetables by eating the same vegetable every day without switching to the different vegetable. Let's learn a little bit about selenium deficiency and why is it a common thing in certain places. In some places like Asia, South Africa and South America where soil is deficient in selenium Thyroid problems are common in individuals with even low normal iodine intake because of the combination of both iodine and selenium deficiency gives you a thyroid problem. So what is the solution? So we should eat foods rich in selenium. Those are Brazil nuts, seafood and organic meat. Brazil nuts is the richest source of selenium among all the nuts and don't overdo the selenium though because you could get selenium excess. So just three Brazil nuts a day is recommended. Let's talk a little bit about soy products. Soy products contain phytonutrients called isoflavones. Research shows that excess of isoflavones can increase the thyroid risk from diet containing isoflavones only when other dietary factors such as iodine deficiency and selenium deficiency and the too much of soy products contribute to this. But if you eat soy in limits every day and if you don't have a pre-existing thyroid problem, it is not necessarily a bad thing. If you are someone with thyroid condition and eat large amounts of raw cruciferous vegetables on a daily basis, you need to discuss this with your healthcare provider. And these are my recommendations if you don't have known iodine deficiency or known thyroid condition, rotate your greens. Switch them often rather than eating same variety of greens every day. And cook some of your cruciferous vegetables. Cook your cabbage, cook your broccoli, and sometimes cook your kale. You can have it raw some days. Goitrogenic substances in these cruciferous vegetables are heat sensitive. And cooking seems to partially inactivate and lower their availability. And don't cook them all the time because you'll be losing other precious nutrients. And make it a habit to consume food rich in minerals and micronutrients by eating seaweed such as kelp, kombu, dulse to get more iodine in the diet. This is a natural way of getting iodine rather than taking the supplements. 
and don't forget to eat three brazil nuts every day or include seafood or organ meat to make sure you are getting enough selenium like i said before don't overdo the selenium by consuming more brazil nuts just because they're tasty as selenium toxicity is a concern and cut down the processed food which may contain hidden sources of soy isoflavones from hydrolyzed soy protein when you consume whole soy products like edamame or tofu eat them cooked or steamed as cooking diminishes the goitrogenicity and prefer to consume fermented or aged soy products such as tempeh miso or natu as these methods also diminish the goitrogenicity of these isoflavones please check my website drsaila.com d r s a i l a.com for more details on this topic and for the references this information is based on my opinion this is intended as sharing of knowledge and is not intended as medical advice or a substitute for your doctor's visit if you need medical advice always contact your own professional healthcare provider and do your own research thank you that's it for today thank you for listening and remember as always your health is in your hands Bye.